Welcome to Wild at Heart Yoga. This is a rise and shine yoga class, so great to do before work or before your day begins. I'm going to take a deep exhale, inhale through the nose, really rooting down through the feet, standing in Tadasana, mountain pose, getting ready for the class and our practice ahead. Hands down by the hips now, take a deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. So just making ourselves present, drawing our awareness to our practice. Gonna inhale the hands above the head, exhale down towards the chest. Exhale down, inhale chair pose. And we're gonna begin by starting to warm up the body. So we bend the knees, rising up through the balls of the feet. You can continue doing it this way, or if you want to, to make it slightly more challenging, you can do little jumps as you come up. So we exhale down, inhale up. So we're just getting the heart rate nice and high, starting to warm up for our later static stretches. So if you would like to do the little jumps, now's the time to do it. Exhale down, inhale up. So make sure that you've got good alignment from the ankle to the knee. Lovely. and we're going to hold chair pose let's twist to the right now inhale back to center and over to the left inhale the hands up open the hands up towards the sky reach on up exhale again inhale up move the puppy out the way. I'm going to come into plank pose now for a vinyasa. But before we do, we're just going to slowly inhale the shoulders forward, exhale back. So we're getting a nice wave motion. Exhale back. So we're doing down dog, inhale forward. Exhale back, inhale forward. So we're just warming the body up getting ready for more strenuous poses later on. We exhale chaturanga, inhale to up dog. Really let the heels roll out there. Exhale down with facing dog. We're going to inhale the right leg up into three legged dog and step it through in between the hands. Inhale come up into a lunge. Really open up the arms and you can take hold of the back of the head to really open up the chest for a mini back bend. Exhale, we're going to twist right elbow to the outside of the left, opening up the chest, getting a nice twist. We love twists for detox. Inhale up, exhale, we're going to drop that right hand, inhale the left hand up towards the sky, and then step in into side plank. And you can bring that top arm over the ear. So we're going to make this dynamic, we're going to exhale, top knee to elbow, so we're really targeting the side waist, getting those transverse abdominals as well. Well done, come back to centre, exhale, chaturanga, inhale to up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale the left leg up, step it through the hands, exhale, inhale, coming up to a lunge. And again, open those hands up high. You can bring the hands behind the head for a mini back bend. And exhale, opposite elbow to the outside of that front knee. We're getting a nice twist. Inhale the hands up. Exhale. Left hand by the side of that front foot. We're going to come back now into a side plank. Same as before. We're going to exhale, knee to elbow. Really trying to keep the hips nice and high to be getting your lovely abdominals working. We're going to come back to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So just going to hold here for a few seconds. This is a very quick class today. Inhale the right leg up. Bring that right leg forward. Exhale. Inhale, we're going to come up to warrior one, so ground that back heel. We're going to drop 
that front hand so we're coming into a side angle pose bring the top arm over that top ear and we're going to drop the back knee now inhale up into crescent pose we're getting a nice back bend make sure the hips are coming forward inhale let's rotate now to the left inhale up Exhale, back to plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up, step it in between the hands. Inhale, come on up, Vadrasana one, warrior one. Make sure that back heel is down. Open up the hands, and again, you can lean back into the hands for mini back bend. Exhale. Gonna drop that back knee very gently, not too much pressure. Inhale up, exhale. We're lunging back for crescent moon pose. We're gonna have a nice twist to the right now. Twists are great for detoxes. Inhale the hands up, exhale. Let's drop back to plank pose, and we're just gonna extend into the chest and back in and back exhale in inhale out exhale in and then we're going to do a twist so we're going to bring that knee to the opposite elbow exhale one legged plank and chaturanga inhale upward facing upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog and let's repeat on the opposite side. So we're bringing that knee, first of all, to the right elbow, then to the center, and then to the opposite elbow. So this is targeting all of our abdominal muscles. We're just going at your own pace. If you need to come to your knees, that's absolutely fine. But try to keep the stomach muscles drawn in towards the spine. Well done. So you should be feeling pretty tough round about now. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Come into Vadrasana one and then Vadrasana two. Warrior two. Let's drop the back hand. Inhale up and over. Exhale, dropping the front hand down by that front foot. Just going at your arm pace now. Dropping the back hand. And then exhaling forward. So it should feel nice. It should feel that we're getting into a bit of a rhythm now. It's a very fast paced class today. It's all about getting your heart rate up. So let's straighten that front leg now. Roll the shoulders back. We're going to exhale into Trikonasana. So we're trying to get the armpit in line with the knee, nose in line with that top thumb, pushing the top hip away forward for pyramid pose. We're going to set that back foot in a little bit, square the hips, so we should be feeling a really big stretch all along that front hamstring. Inhale, exhale, let's do revolving triangles. So we're going to bring that front hand to the outside of the front foot, inhale, open the chest up, and let's step back to plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, the left leg up, we're going to step the foot through, well done, inhale, warrior two, vajrasana two, draw the stomach muscles in, we're going to drop that back hand, inhale, up and over, forward to come forward, exhale, back, inhale, forward, it's going at your own pace, dropping the back hand and then bringing that front hand down by that front foot, inhale up and back, exhale forward, going at your own pace, I'm going to straighten that front leg now so we're getting a really great side stretch, roll the shoulders back, inhale, exhale, bring in our ribs over the front leg for trikonasana. 
pushing that top hip back, opening up the chest. And you can bring that top arm over the ear for an extra stretch. Let's bring the back foot in. So the back toes are about a 45 degree angle for pyramid pose. Square the hips, take a deep inhale. Exhale, so we're getting a lovely stretch for the hamstrings. Let's step back to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do a nice little hop. So we're coming into Utkatasana, forward fold. Let's lift those toes, standing on the thumb mounds. So we're getting a nice sensation of the fingers underneath the feet. Let the weight of the head pull you down, tailbone to the sky. Inhale, bring the body up. And exhale, namaste hands. I'm just stepping back so you can see me in the frame. Bend the knees, inhale, we're gonna come into chair pose, uh, into eagle pose, sorry. So right leg crosses over the left. Deep inhale, exhale. I'm gonna unwind now. If you can, I want you to bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee for an extra challenge. It's another little twist. We love twists because they're a detox. Inhale, keep that right leg up. Do not put it down yet. So we're gonna have left hand round that right knee. Inhale, the right behind us, and we twist. So it's an extra challenge as it's a balance and a twist at the same time. Inhale, back to centre. Hands on the hips, extend that right foot. Exhale, down, well done. I'm going to repeat on the other side now, so left knee over the right, hook that left foot round that right calf. If you have very tight shoulders, you can have your hands just in prayer position. And if you want to make this more challenging, deepen the pose by going a bit deeper, but bending the knees. We're going to bring the right elbow to the outside of that left knee. So we're getting a nice twist. Oh. I had a little wobble, I always keep the wobbles in. I'd like to show you that my practice isn't perfect, but we just readjust and have another go. Yoga isn't about the aesthetics of it looking perfect, it's about how it makes you feel, drawing awareness and bringing peace to your life. So it's good to have the wobbles every now and again. So we're gonna inhale that left knee up, right hand to take hold of that left knee, inhale and twist to look at the back hand. So it's a nice little challenge here. Inhale back to centre, hands on the hips, let's extend that left foot. And bring the body back down. Inhale the hands above the head. Exhale, namaste hands. So come into tree pose now, you've got several options. You can bring that right foot to the ankle, the shin, or as I'm doing, half lotus. Hands in prayer position. Inhale the hands up towards the sky. I'm going to bring the index finger to the thumb for chin mudra and there are our branches. Deep inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And we're going to repeat on the other side now. Whatever you did on the right hand side you need to repeat on the left so I'm going back to half lotus variation. Inhale the hands up towards the sky, exhale chin mudra gesture. And there are our branches. Deep inhale and exhale. And return the feet. We're going to inhale the hands up, exhale, coming into yogic squat. Adjust trousers if needed. So we're going to bring the elbows into the outside of the on the inside of the knee. Sorry. Let's bring that right hand around that right knee. Inhale, sweep the left round to meet the right. Take hold of the left wrist, twisting to look up towards the sky. Come back to centre. I'm going to stretch forward just to realign. Let's repeat on the other side. Left hand round the front of that left knee. Right hand round the back to take hold of that wrist. Opening up towards the sky. We're going to come into crow pose now. So crow pose 
elbows into the sides and the knees and the key with crow is to look forward that helps with the physics of this pose if you would like to as a variation you can come into crane pose so crane pose is the knees at the tops of the arms and we try to straighten the arms inhale we're going to do a little variation if you want to come into side crow on the left hand side deep inhale that's it coming up and if you want to you can transition into fallen angel this is not the best fallen angel I've ever seen in the world but we all like to have a little go so you can have a little try to side crow on the opposite side don't worry if you wobble, it happens. We're going to inhale that top leg up for Fallen Angel if you'd like to try the variation. And we come back down. Inhale. Exhale. So we're going to come into a supported headstand now. We inhale. Nestle the head into the hands. Tuck the toes under and we slowly start to walk the feet towards the body, inhale the legs up, draw the stomach muscles in, imagine that you're trying to walk along the sky and if you'd like to you can do some variations the same as I'm doing, you can open the legs up a little bit if you'd like, bending one foot into the centre and then the other. Just playing. Remember, yoga doesn't have to be solemn. It can be fun as well. And very slowly controlled, coming back down. And we're just going to sit back in child's pose, just to allow our body to come back down. Inhale, stretch the chin and the chest forward for a modified back bend. Exhale, inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming down onto our bellies. I'm going to start off in Sphinx Pose. If you'd like to, you can take your hands, interlace them behind the back. Inhale, bring the chest up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift the feet and the arms back now. Exhale down, this is Salabhasana, locust pose, a lovely little back bend. Inhale, legs, arms back. And we can transition now into bow pose. Take hold of either the ankles or the edges of the feet. Inhale up. You can rock on the belly a little bit. And exhale down and just rest one cheek on the hands in crocodile pose just to reset. Relaxing for a moment. Let's have another go. So we're going to inhale, take hold of the ankles or the tops of the feet, come on up and just rock on the belly and exhale down. Inhale, push up. I'm going to come into pigeon pose as though we're doing pigeon, straight into a twist. So let's bring that right foot just in front of that left knee. Make sure you're sat down on that front heel. Twist now, looking towards the back. So twists are fantastic detoxes. There's multiple benefits to a twist. Okay, let's unwind. Step now back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And again, on the opposite side, as though we're going to do pigeon pose, except this time we bring. The back foot round. Make sure we sat on that back heel. Exhale, one hand behind us to support the spine. Take hold of that front knee, twisting from the waist. The last thing to turn is the neck. Inhale, stepping back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Cross-legged -like position. If you can, I'd like you to try and stack the knees, bringing the heels either side of the hips. Go kupasana. I've said that terribly wrong, but we had to try. <laughs> okay, we're gonna inhale the left elbow towards the sky. 
slow, right to take hold of that left hand, so we're trying to get in between the shoulder blades. Doesn't matter though if you're just holding onto your t-shirt, that's fine, we're still opening up the chest and the shoulders. Okay, let's stack the shins on top of one another for fire lug pose. So this is a really big hip opener, it doesn't look like much but it's doing an awful lot for those hips. And you can bring the hands forward to intensify this pose if you'd like. Just listen to your body though, try not to push too much. Although we want challenge, it's more about listening to your body, going to the edge. I'm going to step back for another vinyasa, exhale chaturanga, inhale to up dog. And optional chaturanga if you'd like. Exhale, downward facing dog. I'm going to repeat those same sequences on the opposite side now. So we're going to stack the knees, bring the heels by the hips. Inhale, the right hand up, El right elbow towards the sky, left up in between the shoulder blades to take hold of that top hand. Really open up the chest, open up the shoulders, getting a hip stretch as well. And then let's stack those, those shins now. So it's about trying to get the shins parallel, so we're very slowly opening up the hips. And this time is a variation, you can bring the hands together behind the back, pushing the fingertips in between the shoulder blades. And you can lean forward to intensify that hip opener. Just be careful though, try not to push too much, remember it's all about listening to the body. Okay, we're going to give those legs a little bit of a shake because they should be feeling quite well worked at this stage. So we're going to inhale the hands up above the head, exhale folding forward. The key with this, we want us to be coming out of the hips. Stomach to thighs, chest to knee, chin to shin, that's the alignment, no rounded backs. You can bend the knees if this is too intense for you, that's okay, it's more about getting a nice straight back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, we're going to bend the knees. I'm just going to do a few little lab crunches now, so it's as though we're doing boat pose. So we exhale, legs out, uh, exhale, knees in, inhale, legs out, exhale, knees in, inhale, legs out. Draw the stomach muscles in. So go at your own pace. It should feel quite intense as it's working all of your abdominal muscles. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Try to do as many as you can. Inhale for Navasana boat pose. Exhale, bring the legs down. Gonna bend the knees. And let's do some bicycles now. So opposite elbow to knee. Draw the stomach muscles in. It's really key here to draw the stomach muscles in as you're training the muscles to stay in. Building a strong core. The slower you go, the easier it is. Uh, the more difficult it is, sorry, I'm telling you lies. <laughs> so just keep going at your own pace. We love bicycles really, even though they hurt, because they get all of your abdominal muscles, they engage every single abdominal muscle. So they're good for getting everything involved. Okay, knees into the chest and just do little circles with the knees, releasing the tension. We're going to take hold of the tops of the feet for reclining Baddha Konasana, draw them in the toes in towards the chest, lovely look hip opener there. And we're going to inhale now up to bridge pose, so we lift the seat, try not to let the knees roll up, come back down, inhale up, exhale down, so just going at your own pace. This is stretching the stomach as well, really great for any lower back pain. Inhale up, exhale down. That's lovely. If you'd like to now, you can come up into wheel pose. So this is an advancement of bridge. So we inhale up, exhale. We're just trying to soften into the pose. If it's hurting, please do come down. We're just trying to hold the pose, enjoying the back bend that it presents for us. 
inhale, exhale, breathing into the pose, inhale, exhale, come on down, we're going to inhale the knees into the chest, exhale, forehead to the knees, okay, we're going to inhale the right knee into the chest for a supine twist, let's bring that right knee down over to the left now, we look to the right, lovely twist lovely for the spine and let's repeat on the opposite side try not to let that shoulder blade pop up so we look over to the left try to keep that left shoulder blade down left knee over to the right inhale the knees into the chest exhale forehead to the knees let's cross the ankles inhale come up to a seat position exhale chaturanga inhale to up dog exhale for downward facing dog so one last little vinyasa come to the knees exhale child's pose and you can bring the palms down by the sides of the hips palms up towards the sky just resting in child's pose realigning resetting it's been a really fast paced class today to a seated position. I'm going to finish the class now with a meditation. So we're going to be in Sukhasana position. So one heel into the groin, one in front. And we like this pose. It's called easy pose. It's good for tilting the hips forward. Now you've got a couple of options. You can have the hands resting on the knees with the palms up towards the sky. You can do Padma Mudra, which is lotus gesture. So it's like a flower position. Or you can just have hands resting on the knees so we're open to the universe open to the energies of the world around us or for puppies okay we're going to close the eyes take a deep inhale exhale and we're going to begin by counting the breath inhale for four one two three four hold the breath for two one, two, exhale through the nose for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Deep inhale, exhale. Deep inhale, exhale. So I'd like you to draw your attention to the soles of the feet. As you inhale, I want you to visualize energy, light, prana drawing in through the soles of the feet. And as you exhale, any tension or stress is exiting the body through the nostrils. Inhale, focusing on the soles of the feet, all the energy, the prana, the light, the love drawing in through the soles of the feet. Exhale, we surrender, we let go of those things that we do not need. We let go of tension and stress and negativity. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We draw the attention to the spot right in between the eyebrows, the Ajna Chakra, the third eye. If you have any thoughts that cross the mind or feel that you're starting to be a bit distracted, draw your attention back to that third eye. It's okay to have thoughts, but we are a spectator to them, so we acknowledge them, we watch them arise, but as we exhale, we let go, instead drawing our focus to that spot right in between the third eye. Inhale. Just going to enjoy the silence of our practice now, the time we've given ourselves to focus on our own well being, feeling at peace and at ease.
we draw light energy prana into the body and as we exhale we release ourselves from burden inhale exhale if any thoughts are arising we're allowed to observe them but as the saying goes we don't get led down the garden path with them often when a thought arises it becomes a distraction and leads onto a chain of thoughts so instead I want you to draw your attention to that spot right in between the eyebrows, the third eye. Inhale, exhale. attention to the heart center now. So take your attention to that heart and as we inhale I want you to visualize that that area is glowing with light. It can be golden, it can be orange, rose pink, whatever color resonates with you. As you inhale visualize the heart center glowing and as you exhale Compassion leaves the body, travelling out into the world. Your compassion goes out into the universe, to the world around you. Inhale, drawing light, energy, love and happiness to the heart centre. It glows. And as you exhale, you release your compassion and your love out into the world. Inhale, focusing on that heart center. We replenish with the inhale, drawing light into the heart center. And we exhale, releasing our love into the world. Inhale, exhale. start to wake up, inhaling the hands above the head, exhaling to finish our practice. Thank you guys, thank you for joining this practice.